Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 24th of 2023, well, it is titled Meteors Along the Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image from the Perseid meteor shower, and these were taken early morning on August the 13th, so just not even a couple of weeks ago now. And the Perseid meteor shower, one of the more prominent meteor showers that occurs. And what is what is a meteor? Well, a meteor is just a tiny bit of debris out in space, little bits of debris generally left behind by comets. So when a comet comes close to the sun, a lot of the material can be vaporized off its surface. And as it does that, it gets left behind. So it gets removed from the comet and then will continue to orbit in exactly the same path the comet did. So the cometary orbit is filled with all of this debris. When Earth passes through a t the comet's path, then it picks up that material. Those little bits of material crash into Earth's atmosphere at very high speeds, and we see a meteor or shooting star. So it's just that tiny bit of material in our atmosphere that is burning up as it vaporizes. Now most meteors never make it anywhere near Earth's surface. They're vaporized very high up in the atmosphere. Larger objects that can make it through would then become meteorites if they actually landed on Earth. Now, to see the meteor shower, and it's a little bit late for this year, but if you want to look at a me the meteor shower, you generally want to see the very early morning hours. So here it is. This time was between 2 and 4.30 in the morning, near the peak of the shower. And you see a number of the different meteors here uh, across the whole frame. Now you notice that they do seem to be all traveling together. They're all raining down along the Milky Way and down to what appears down to the ground. Now that's just the perspective. So because they are traveling all in the same orbit and all parallel to each other in space, they also will they will all appear to have parallel paths and will in fact point back to a radiant point out in the constellation of Perseus, which should be well up above this image. So they all seem to do that and by timing the picture correctly the section that we're looking at of the Milky Way all of the meteors seem to be coming down in the same direction if you looked at the constellation of Perseus you would see them radiating outward in all directions but again that is just the perspective of how we see them as coming in parallel parallel lines tend to convert look appear to converge off in the distance we see this with like railroad tracks and other things if you follow those on a very very straight level surface, they will look like they are getting closer and close together, closer together and merging off into a point in the distance. Now we know that's not actually the case. They are really staying exactly the same distance apart. It is just the way we are able to see them. So here we get to see them along with our Milky Way stretching diagonally from lower left to upper right. We see our gal portions of our galaxy as seen from within along with a couple dozen of me the meteors from the Perseid meteor shower from earlier this month. So that was our picture of the day for August 24th of 2023. It was titled Meteors Along the Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Seasons of Saturn. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.